Hey guys, in today's video, we are going to be looking at some of the funniest and worst design fails. Let's get into it. Wait, what type of faucet is this? It looks like the faucet goes too far past the sink and it just spills onto the floor. What's more impressive is that the placement for the floor drain. It's like they installed it specifically to catch all the run of water, which is truly remarkable. Man, what type of design is this? I think the designers of this bathroom thought it would be a good idea to put the mirrors over the public stores. So you not only see the toilets, but also whoever is sitting on them from the ceiling. And I'm not sure about you, but I will never gonna try this bathroom ever in my emergency. So in this picture, the designers thought they had built a high security gate outside. But the security gate just looks like a ladder. And it even has the rungs for your feet. If they say their gate is wide and almost impossible to pass through, what they really mean is it's just tall and very easy to pass through. Wait, the shape looks really familiar, but it's not what you think. Well, uh, let me explain. If you ever go to the Westminster Bridge, you will see the architecture reveals a specific pattern when the sun hits it just right. I'm not sure if they did it intentionally. After all, the bridge was opened back in 1862, but it's really fun to watch. A school computer blocked Duolingo because the computer was set to block access to education websites. This is what happens when the United States education system makes any decisions. What? Do you think this is a great design for a toilet door? It will look like a good design till you just slide it back. It reminds me of a middle schooler making a class project. He put so much care into it, only for it to function like this. <laughs> well, this is truly unexpected. So, uh, it's a flexi-glass line shelf in a supermarket with a lock on it. It's supposed to keep people from grabbing the next young. I don't think it's going to fool them for long. The supermarket people should have paid so much money to the designer to protect things they put on the shelf. And with a design like this, I think the store owners just made a wrong decision. Look at the design of this dress. Why they are the print, the shading, the placements? I'm not sure if anyone would be comfortable wearing dresses like this and walking across the street. Well, this is the Grand Plaid Ocean Award for the science innovation. It's supposed to be two hands filling away the layers of the earth. I think we can agree the designers of this award should have made it look more like the thing you wanted to have once or more than once in your lifetime. Do you know what I'm saying, right? Don't be happy, worry. Well, it's a shirt that has two different sayings in different colors. So you are supposed to read one before the other based on the color. But the way it's written out, it looks like don't be happy, worry. But man, I'm more worried about the future of your designing career. Because I doubt you will receive any orders in the future after making a crappy design like this. Well, the guy who made these stairs put a decorated darker strip at the bottom of the stairs, which looks like the last step. I think they needed to make the stairs to this area, but they failed to complete it to that area, so they decided to just put a darker strip on the floor, which looks like the last step. This should be one of the easiest ways to get kicked out for the job, guys. The Kleenex looks like it's coming from Spider-Man's butt. Must be one of Mr. Star's latest inventions. My question is, if you pull out it, does it make any noise? There's a music mural that looks like two people hanging themselves from the way it's painted. The buttons of the girl's dress and the bow tie on the boy made me think like a child painted it. And now we have two custom nitro pillows with the design of a compass and the four directions. I tried tilting my head to see if the placement of the letters was decoratively realist, but that totally ruined the design. They confuse themselves between the south and the east pole and place them in different positions. The designer must have no idea what he or she is doing, otherwise I don't think anyone could have made this type of mistake. It's a sign at a public restroom showing who can access the toilet. I don't think they made their audience specific enough, like it's still too broad. It should be written like one for disabled people, two for elderly and three for pregnant women and four for children. Maybe the owner of this public restroom didn't pay the designer half of his salary. Well, I have no complaints with the design of this ad. It's the guys who put the design on the van or the guys who installed the exhaust pipe right in his private area. Look at the smile on his face. It's like he is totally fine with it. Well, the pattern on the stairs looks like there's dozens of stairs all lined up side by side. It would be dangerous for elderly people to walk down the stairs like this. 
I think the designer just charged some extra money from the homeowner to be creative. And instead of solving people's problems, he came up with an idea which should be the reason for so many people's broken bones. Well, I know what's written right there. All I want to say is if any woman wants to see your PP, just send them this and see their reactions. Well, this is really a short maze. They put all this care into the whole rest of the design. It's just one corner that's screwed up. Was it made for the preschoolers or by the preschoolers? A wheelchair access that leads to a staircase. I'm not sure what's the intention behind it. Maybe it was a massive troll done by the contractors. It's like they want to show the wheelchairs that they have to work for their disability benefits. So in this picture, there's a toilet paper holder at the bathroom sink like 10 feet away from the toilet. Maybe there's another one closer to the toilet. Well, I'm not sure about it, but I'm having some weird thoughts thinking about the situation people face by having toilets in this bathroom. Let's say you are sitting on this toilet seat and minding your own business. But when it comes to wipe yourself out, you have to come in a squat position to the sink to take the toilet paper. Well, I'm not comfortable using that toilet. Let me know what you think. Make sure your hoe is protected at Home Depot. Well, how hard is it to crop from the other side of the design for more room? Well, uh, do they mean the garden tool or something else? So this designer made steps to reach the toilet seat. I would love to climb the steps to my oval white throne before doing my business. Though it wouldn't be good if I was hammered one night. I would just sleep and fall. It's also not good for elderly people if they have an emergency and they have to walk all the stairs for the toilet. So they installed a clear glass door to the men's changing room for privacy concerns. Clearly not the kind of privacy where you can be seen by other guys. It's more like privacy from airborne pathogens. So a fruit stand at a grocery store that reads lemons perfect for orange juice? Well, I would have to disagree. How on God's skin flat earth could you make orange juice from lemons? I think lemons have too much pulp to make a good orange juice. So the author of this picture went to a shoe shop for a Black Friday sale and took this picture. As you guys can see, this store owner must learn how to hide the price before giving discount to his people. The first price is so clear under this sticker. So we know as a fact that stores do this kind of thing. I think they should change it back to the normal price. Well, how are you supposed to read the proper sequence of these numbers? As you guys can see, here is a 5. And from the 5, here is 6. And here is 7. And from the 7, you can see 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 to 27 right here. And from the top 27, you have to go to the bottom like this is the 28 right now. And from the 28, 29, 30. And from the 30, you have to go completely out to the 40 right here. So uh, I think I can't even look for too long without getting dizzy. And I think I just had seizure after looking at this picture. It looks like the person is just stuck right there. But what's the reason behind it? You can see the sign on the pillar pointing that you had to walk from the left side of the bridge. Do you think there's any point in putting the sign on that pillar? It wouldn't be as bad if the arrows were only pointing to the right. Then you could just ride your bike down that way. But as you guys can see, there's no space left for the person to even walk from the left side of the bridge. I think the worker just had no idea where to put that sign. The landlord installed a lock on a sliding door. I think this looks kind of familiar. Remember the sliding toilet door? This guy needs to go back to the engineering school. Can you help Rolo get home? No, I can't help man because you already broke my path. These people make maze games for kids aren't even putting the work in. Well, I agree that the light switch next to a fire alarm switch at an elderly person's home is actually good for everyone. Especially if the elderly person has some wicked Mexican food with some extra sauce. But they should put the fire alarm switch on the left side of the button switch. Otherwise, they will probably end up clicking on the fire alarm switch all the time. Here are the letters of the kids menu activity. It looks like every letter is cursed. But look at the letter M. Like, how are we supposed to explain this one to the kids? I think the easiest activity among all of this is I. Just stand right there as long as you can. They made the fire exit door the same as any other door down the hall of this model. They are asking people to close it quietly as guests may be sleeping. Well, the designer should use his common sense before writing something like this on an emergency door. 
Who or not will sleep when we have a fire inside a model? Well, I'm not sure about you, but if I had kids, I would just tell them to stay away from this playground. If they play on this playground, there's a high risk of crushing their nuts. That's all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, give this video a thumbs up, share your thoughts in the comments, and subscribe to my channel. Alright guys, see you soon.